He, like many fishing observers, chose to be Ghana's frontline defenders against an overfishing crisis that is among the worst in West Africa. But it appears that the fight is being lost as these observers are either threatened or in some cases go missing on fishing trawlers. In July 2019, Emmanuel Essien was declared missing at sea without a trace. A year on, his family says it is yet to receive the outcome of that investigation. All these compelling details are in our latest hotline documentary. conducted by EFG in 2017 revealed that approximately 100,000 tons of fish were landed through cycle out of the total 167,000. What this means is that just 40 percent of catches were landed legally and reported to the Fisheries Commission despite observers being present on a number of vessels. One of such observers who did his job diligently was Emmanuel Essien. Essien, prior to this job, had been unemployed for over a year. His brother remembers how elated he was when he got the chance to serve as an eye on Ghana's sea. Me want to me say, pwe juma dana kuma so ana se juma se debi. No pe juma. No tell me say when ye juma na me so be to me. And also be to me. Yes, he was happy. So when ye juma na e was so ko. And me so juma no. Oh, nte na wa chere no no no. O ji de so ko e na juma. Nte se no nte na jukura no ba me o ji de gidi gidi kura na. A de chinya o ko. Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to me and say, oh, boy, my man, no, 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 me no, 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 home on the 30th of June after he had been given a short notice from his bosses at the Fisheries Commission to be on board Megzen 15 trawler. But just six days after he left his wife and two children, they got a call that was going to change their lives forever. 30th of July now, on the 5th of July now, 30th of June, on the 5th of July now, I say, I'm going Everyone's <laughs> news came in as a shock to not only the family but the president of the Trollers Association, Dr. Eni, who first received the news. Well, I was the first or one of the first people who had a message that something has happened on the vessel. And so my first response is call the police, call the Fisheries Commission, and the owner of the vessel did just that. In fact, I spent about four or five hours at the port when the vessel arrived. Because what we then did was to ask the vessel to come. Because if you can't find the observer, then the most rational thing to do is to bring the vessel. And before the vessel arrived, I think about three, four, five hours, the police had been notified, the Fisheries Commission had been notified, the vessel burped, the police the BNI and all other agencies, security agencies at the port, went on the vessel, collected, what do you call it, uh, materials that uh, they needed to use for their investigation. They picked all the sailors. They took uh, what goes statement from them. Uh, at the point, we had to appear before the Maritime Authority 
And as far as I'm concerned, as far as industry is concerned, we have followed due process. Mm -hmm.